Hi, Andrew Polikoff here. This is your weekly B do have. This is the do. And I mentioned it in the B. Um, in the B, I talked about how to focus on what we're actually in control of versus that which we are not. And um, to try and be grateful also, um, I didn't mention that, but that's something there's much to be grateful for right now. And that's what we should be focusing on with everything that's going on in the world. Um, but here is the do again, and let me give you a little bit more granularity. Um, I said in the B this week, and how to better B, was to create a list of the things you're actually in control of versus the things we're not. We are in control of whether we turn the news on or not. And I'm not saying you shouldn't watch the news, but how often do you want to watch it? Um, we are in control of who we make time for, what, we're make, what things we're making time for now. We're in control of where we're putting the predominance of our thoughts, which is another list I wanted to bring up. If you keep a couple pieces of paper around the house and you jot down, because, you know, I think the average, we have 60,000 thoughts a day, and the predominance of those thoughts, um, I believe 85 to 90% of those thoughts um, were the same as they were the day before. Um, try to be aware of the thoughts that you're having on a recurring basis. Um, the good news here is, is that we can change that. Our brain is like a muscle. Um, and we can redirect our thoughts to things that we want to focus on more. Um, so start creating lists. Lists are amazing things for us to create change in our lives. So list the things that we're in control of and the things we're not in control of. Absolutely a good practice to have. And also create a list of the things that you're grateful for. Um, so I just threw a whole bunch at you. Um, but these are great practices. I've done them for years. Our, life, our lives really are a product of where we put our focus, our mental focus. Be aware of where you're putting your mental focus. What are the habitual thoughts that you're having? Write those down. That was the other list I said. Um, because so many of our thoughts are the same. And then, and then another list... I'm giving you a whole bunch of things, but food to think, you know, food for thought is the things you really want to start more focusing on, positive thoughts. And take time, you know, every hour, every two hours to think on those things. And I'm telling you, it will make a difference. It's like going to the gym and building a muscle. It's doing the same thing. Thanks for listening.